Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is uh, some of the most common methods of the string builder class. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com, select begin. Let's scroll all the way down here to the String Builder Common Methods tutorial. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use some of the most common methods in the String Builder class. Now, I covered the two most popular methods in their own separate tutorials, String Builder Append Method tutorial and the String Builder Insert Method tutorial. I went over the difference between a mutable and, immu and an immutable class in my String Builder Introduction tutorial. I highly recommend watching all three tutorials prior to watching this one. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this and we'll come down here, highlight all this source code. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. We'll move my browser off screen here. And I've got a short shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't have one, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD, next and finish. All right, just that easy. I'm going to go and open this up. First thing I'm going to do is type in Java C, which is a Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. I want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory and backslash tells it to go to the root. Um, I'm going to make a directory here called Java using the MD command. And I already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create one for you. I'm going to change directories to the Java folder. I'm going to make a directory here, and I'm just going to call this uh, String Builder Methods. Change directory to the String Builder Methods folder, and Notepad String Builder Methods.java. String Builder Methods.java is going to be the name of my source code file, also known as a compilation unit. Okay, let's go ahead and control, control V to paste that in, or right click and select paste. All right, let's come up here and save. So basically a single class called uh, String Builder Methods. Here's my main method entry point. And then I'll just go through each one of these, um, each one of these methods, like the first one's going to be capacity. So the first thing I'm going to do in this statement here is just create a new String Builder uh, object here, assigned to a String Builder uh, reference variable of type string builder, right? It's just going to contain the string literal, basically, hello world, right? Okay, let's go ahead and come up here and compile this and run it. Okay, I'm going to scroll all the way back and let's clear our screen. And then I'll do the uh, running of it here. Okay, so the first method is capacity, right? And capacity will tell you the, well, the capacity of the actual internal available character sequence. Now, it's generally 16 characters greater than the actual character length is the capacity. So you can see our um, SB, our string builder object equals hello world, and the capacity is 27. So you can see here's five characters here, five characters there, plus our space. So it's 11 and then plus 16. So it's generally 16 characters greater than that, okay? And the capacity is different than the length, and I'll go over the length method here in a moment. The next one is a, um, a char at, right? Which basically returns the character at the specified index. Now remember the index begins at zero. And so basically this next one here, just every time uh, before I do the demonstrate the next method, I'll just display what, you know, the current string builder um, object is equal to or instance. So doing the char at, for example, six, so we'll return back W. So remember like hello world, so uh, H is one, zero, E is one, this L is two, here's three, four, five, and so six, this is index six, okay? So just have to remember that the index begins at zero. Okay, so that's char at, that's pretty simple there. Now delete, um, you can basically delete stuff out of there. So in this particular example, hello world, and if I delete uh, starting at um, index number five, which is the space, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? And then going all the way to 10, it should be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now it doesn't delete the 10th character, so it deletes basically right before that. So 
um, you're going to get five characters deleted is the way this works. If you take, if you think of this like, for example, 10 minus 5 is 5, right? You're going to get five characters deleted there. So starting at index 5 and then delete the next five characters. So you get the result is hello D, right? Okay, um, the next one is, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate insert again. So insert the characters at the specified index. And remember the index begins at zero. Okay, and I'm going to insert back basically into the space WORL to get, get my uh, string builder object back to hello world. Okay, let's uh, come down here to... Okay, um, the next method is delete char at, and that just basically deletes uh, the character at the specified index, right? So that's fairly, fairly simple there. So if we delete the character at the fifth index, that'll take the space out and we'll have hello world there, okay? And then, of course, I do the insert again. So I'll insert a, a character, a, a space there again to get it back to hello world. Uh, the next one is ensure capacity. And basically, of course, the capacity of um, the refers to is basically the length of like the character rate that actually holds the, the value there, right? So if we uh, do ensure capacity 300, our new capacity equals 300 there, right? And you can see um, basically, where am I at here? Yeah, so I invoke the ensure capacity method and then I just display the actual capacity down here to the to the console there along with the string literal here, okay? So that's the way that one works. Okay, uh, the next one, index of, so it gets the index of the specified string. Negative one is return if not found. So index of WOR, notice that it's case sensitive too, so it's six. So this begins at index number six. If we do uh, sp.index of WOR all uppercase, it returns negative one, it's not found in there, okay? Uh, the next one is very simple length. It returns the length of the actual value of the instance. All right. So in this particular case, hello world, the length is 11. All right. And then the next one here, replace, right? Replace is fairly simple there. <laughs> replace replaces the characters at the specified index. So um, 6 comma 11 would basically be uh, the W O R L D, right? Those those characters there, those five characters. Remember, if you take six minus five, that's five. So you're ultimately going to be replacing these five characters with whatever the string is, and then the string length doesn't have to match. Okay. So and then basically, S B now equals hello everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, the next one here. is just reverse, and you can see that's fairly simple. That method just basically reverses all the characters, so let's get this point still equal to hello everybody. And then basically reversing it, yeah, basically reverses that, so that's fairly simple. All right, and then I go ahead and down here. After that, uh, basically I just invoke the delete to delete starting at zero and then the length there. And then I just depend on hello world to get uh, to get our, our SB instance, string builder instance back to hello world there. Okay, so the next one is set char at and you specify the index and then whatever character literal you want to replace there. So you could see that as hello pound world and then put it back to hello space world there. Okay, the next one is set length. Okay, and it sets the character length to the specified value. It'll trim characters if less than the current length. All right, so, um, hello world, and then we set length to five, right? And now it's equal to hello. All right, and then end the source code down here. After I uh, set the length equal to five, I go ahead and invoke the append command to put it back to hello world again there. All right, and then substring. Substring basically works the exact same way as the string class. As a matter of fact, it returns a string object and the same start and end positions there on that, on that index there. So, um, substring 6 comma 11, world. Okay. All right. And then the last one here that we're going to do is um, trim to size. So it tends to reduce the capacity to the current instance. You'll notice there's no arguments here. So what I've done here is I'm going ahead and I'm setting the, the minimum capacity to 300 using the ensure capacity method that I went over just a minute ago. 
And so that'll display to the console, ensure capacity, 300, new capacity equals 300. And then after we invoke the trim to size method right here, the new capacity equals 11. So you can see the trim to size actually strips off like the, um, the extra capacity that's normally 16 characters on top of that. Okay, so that'll pretty much do it there. That's most of the common methods there. Of course, the insert and the append, those all have like a gazillion overloaded versions of them there. So that's why I did a separate tutorial for each one of those. But I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.